Okay, so over the next few videos, we're going to be discussing how we can create, modify, and format Excel charts. And charts are a great tool to communicate data graphically. Currently, our report is pretty organized, and we can see the cost of each expense per month. But at first glance, it's difficult to see the meaning behind our numbers. But by inserting charts, we can see the comparisons and trends much easier. So for this video, I'm going to be walking through the steps on how to insert a chart. The first thing that we need to do is select our data. So I'm going to select the column headings and the cost of each expense. I'm going to leave out the totals because I don't want to include them within our chart. Now once we have our data selected, we need to go to the Insert tab. And within the Charts group, I'm going to insert one of the most commonly used chart types, which is the Clustered Column Chart. So I'm going to come up here to the Column Chart and select the 2D Column Chart. Now that our chart is inserted, we can kind of see how it handled our data. It put each month on the x-axis. It gave a color to each one of our expenses for our legend and also graphed the amount of each expense for each month. So quickly looking at this chart, we can see that the blue bars are the highest one each month. And we can go down to our legend and realize that, oh, cost of goods sold is our highest expense for each month. Same thing goes for the smaller bars. We can tell that supplies and utilities have low costs for each month. So at first glance, we can easily interpret our data just by looking at this chart. Instead of manually having to go into our report and seeing how much each expense cost. Another thing that I want to point out is that our data and our chart is now connected. For example, if I come up here into our report and change the cost of goods sold in January from 1000 to 3000 we can see that our blue bar cost of goods sold in January skyrocketed because we increased the cost of that expense. If we go back to the original amount, now our chart updated again. With our data and charts being connected, gives us that more dynamic functionality that we look for in our spreadsheets. So you can see that having charts, it's easier to compare data, make assumptions, and communicate information more effectively. And in the next few videos, we'll discuss how we can apply formatting to Excel charts.